I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, a forklift driver is dead after police say the machine he or she was working in flipped over last night. This happened at a warehouse around 11 p.m. near Craig and Lamb at Bridgestone Management. Nevada OSHA is now investigating, and right now we do not know the identity of the victim. RTC of Southern Nevada says a new survey is available for the 13-mile bus rapid transit line proposed for Maryland Parkway. And take a look at the renderings for the plan. Under the proposal, the line would run from the South Strip Transit Center north to the Las Vegas Medical District. Feedback is needed for the design of new transit shelters and shared bus bike lanes. If you'd like to have your voice heard, we have a link on our website to take this survey. Just head over to our website at ktnv.com slash Maryland Parkway. The survey will be open until June 30th. So are you ready to work and be a part of Raider Nation? Allegiant Stadium is looking to hire Raiders game day staff, and they're looking to fill about 1,800 positions. The hiring will take place this Sunday and Monday from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Positions are available in security, ticketing, hospitality and other areas. Applicants must be 18 years or older and show a valid ID. Interviews will be held right on the field and the Raiderettes will also be around and there will be giveaways on both days. Danny. Breezy wind picking up a lot of dust today, but wind speeds are settling down tonight. Our gusts dropping under 25 miles per hour once the sun sets, but it will be on the cool side. Our highs came in almost 20 degrees cooler today, which puts us in the upper 70s once the sun sets with a clear sky and lows dropping near 60 ahead of sunrise on Saturday. So that's a cool start to your Saturday morning, but tomorrow afternoon looks spectacular. Gusts under 20 miles per hour, a clear sunny sky and highs capped in the mid 80s. We kick off a warming trend next week, takes us back to 100 by Thursday. Day. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTMV.com.